Uh, so to um do a question and answer, I think it was as requested in the comments. Um, like, do does it hurt to fail? So I'll be answering that question. So, there's a, there's a few answers to the question, actually. Um, one of them, like, probably the most common one, is not if you know what you're doing in, like, previous steps to the flip progression. So, say, you're not going to be learning a front flip until you know a forward roll. So, if you do a front flip and over-rotate and land on your face, it's going to be, like, much different from landing on your face and face planting into the ground and then just doing a roll out of it. Right? So, the thing that helps with hurting, like, it, it hurting, it's just different techniques. So, like, um, let's turn and fail it. I typically put my hands behind my back so I don't flop right down on my back when I was learning those Webster's in the progression video. So, I put my hands like this so I land, like, plant them on the ground. So my hands hit the ground before my back, and they absorb the impact. Yeah, so you can roll out of stuff. You can use different techniques, like planting your hands. And then another one, like, if you do a flip and flop on your back, if you've been trying that flip, when you flop onto your back from a flip, like, it doesn't matter, like, how hard you flopped onto your back. I mean, I guess if you broke your back, you'd care about that, but... Like, whenever I fail a flip and it looks like it would hurt, it hurts, but I honestly don't care about how much it hurts. Because I'm just like, oh, this really stinks that I can't land this. Because I was just landing them yesterday, I was just landing them an hour ago, and I can't land them anymore. It's a lot if you're running. And, um, it's like more of like a mental pain of like when, because it does hurt. It hurts when you like, um, flop onto the grass, but like, even, and if you forget to use those, those techniques to, so you don't, um, flop straight onto your back, like the hands are rolling out of it, but, like, when you do that, it's just, it's like different, because you've been trying that flip for so long, and I remember when, when I could Webster, it was so bad, when I could, It was just bad. It was a terrible Webster. I thought I could Webster. You know, in, in two years, I'm going to be like, oh, I, th I thought I could Webster. I thought I could land really good. But anyway, when I was landing super low on my Webster's, right? I mean, it was only like a few days ago that I could do them really good. We go. And then, like, upright. So it was just a little bit ago that I was landing them terrible. And when I was landing them terrible, and like, sometimes I land on my butt. It hurt, like, and so, but it, it didn't hurt, like, physically, I mean, it did, but that's not what I was focusing on, because I was just so mad that, like, I couldn't land it that day, and it was, like, my Webster's were iffy, and I kind of was just, like, on and off. Same thing with backflips. Pain of the backflip. If you ever learn backflips, you will know what I'm talking about. They are painful. You will land on your ankles. You will land on your knees. I don't think you will land on your neck. I, I mean, maybe. The thing is, like, it's, it's painful. But you don't really think about it. Other than backflips, backflips are just painful either way. They hurt physically and mentally. Cause the first backflip you land, and then you can never land it again. Anyway, I hope this helped you. Um, your questions. Uh, if you if you want more videos like this, question and answer videos, just tell me in the comments and give me a subject to do them on. Yeah, Street Ninja out. Parkour.